see today. It is um, the uh, 20th of December here on Wednesday. And I had to look at my calendar there, getting into the holiday season. So things are, uh, focuses are starting to shift a little bit. And uh, as we get closer to the Christmas holiday, which is on Monday and into the new year and things just slow down. And, and you saw that in markets today. It was a slow, quiet day in trading. Rates were down a few basis points. Um, you know, markets were basically flat for most of the day. But um, all, all that said, um, there's some uh, data overnight out of Europe um, that I thought, thought was worth no noting. Yeah, inflation in the UK uh, it came in much lower than expected. It was 3.9%. We were expecting more like 4.3, which is down from 4.6 the month prior. Um, the PPI in Germany was lower than expected too. And I say some of these things across the pond because because central banks are tethered to one another. And with inflation lower in the US and likely rate cuts in 2024, while the ECB telegraphed at least last week that they were going to hold rates the same. And like I said last week, I don't, I don't think that's realistic um, if the US cuts uh, significantly next year. Of course, with today's numbers, uh, rates came down a ton in the UK. The gilts were trading at 354. They were down like 12 basis points on the day. So you're seeing the same phenomenon there as you are here. And I frankly think it's a positive. Um, and I believe that central banks will tend to move in concert, just like they did on the way up. Uh, not quite lockstep across the world, but pretty close to that. And there's a lot of reasons. You know, currencies are affected by central bank policy. Higher rates tend to have stronger currencies, and that affects trade, things like trade and, and, the, and the economy. And so these things are all kind of tethered hand in hand a little bit. So um, I guess more good news on the inflation front from that perspective, that it's, it's not just in the U.S., and it's not shocking that it's not just in the U.S. coming down. It's because of the primary cause of it being the supply chain disruption from the pandemic. That wasn't just in the U.S. It was a global uh, pandemic shut down across the world. And so as uh, things shut down, prices went up when everything reopened and, and uh, there was more dollars chasing the same amount of goods or less goods, I should say. Uh, that's, that's, what we, that's what we're getting. Uh, so, so generally positive there. Um, you had... Um, Existing home sales for the month of November were were basically in line, although the headline was that they were better than expected. But the, they were up 0.8% for the month, which which technically was better than expected. And um, But just keep in mind, those are still down. Existing home sales are still down 7.3% from last year, year over year. So getting a little bit better. It was actually the fifth month in a row uh, we had declines in existing home sales. And so this is the first monthly increase in, in almost half the year. So positive, I guess. Um, median prices were up 4% uh, across the country year over year. Again, there's just no transactions going on or very few. And so I don't know if that's a real accurate price discovery um, uh, there or, or not really. I think it's uh, a bit convoluted. Um, consumer confidence for the month of December. This comes out today is the 20th. So it was out today. I don't usually um, go into this a ton. Um, just because it's how people are feeling, how confident they are based on a survey. And so if you get the Fed saying that they're going to lower rates and then the, and the markets are doing better, uh, the employment picture hung in there and it's the holidays. I mean, there's, there's probably a ton of things I could cite where people would answer something in a positive fashion. I don't really know that that predicts much about uh, the future it, because it doesn't. Um, you know, people tend to be reactive, not proactive to how they're going to feel. They feel how they just <laughs> what they just went through. Um, but take it for what it is. That's the data that we have for today. Again, pretty quiet day overall. Um, something interesting and frankly unprecedented in, in the state of Colorado, the Supreme Court ruled to remove or uh, Donald Trump from any potential presidential ballot in the state. Um, that hasn't been done before. And so this is immediately appe appealed at the federal level. And of course, as you know, the Supreme Court nationally uh, is heavily appointed by Trump. So you know, whether that gets overturned or not, I'd say the odds are probably in the favor of it, but I'm no lawyer here. So we'll have to see how that goes. But it it could be meaningful for the election next year. You know, one state, probably not, especially a, a state that likely was blue anyway. But um, but we'll see. That's kind of an interesting thing. And again, in, in my life and frankly, ever, I don't, that, that's not something that I've seen before. Um Tomorrow, we've got Q3 GDP revision coming out, the first revision of several. Um, 
it was 5.2% originally. It's expected to kind of fall to 5.1%. Um, so basically in line, but that can move markets potentially. If you got a upward revision in, in GDP, I think that would be good. And if it was dramatically lower, then I think that would obviously be bad. But somewhere around the number, then I really don't think markets are going to care much at all. And again, we're going into Christmas here. So things are quiet. Traders are on vacation at this point. And um, just sort of that uh, merry time of year. Um, tomorrow we'll have DCT for you. David will be back with you on, on DC today, tomorrow. And then we'll have the last dividend cafe of the year on Friday. And then and then we'll head into the holidays. And so um, that's, that's what I have for you today. I appreciate you listening and reading as I always do. Send your questions. I really do appreciate them. And if I don't speak with you, have a lovely holiday. Have a lovely Christmas and New Year and time with your family. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm.